if we need to do some fight, uh, he doesn't need to talk with the... Boxing fans, welcome back to the channel. Buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the latest developments in the boxing world, particularly focusing on the highly anticipated clash between Dimitri Bivol and Archer Betterbeef. It's a showdown that promises not only fireworks, but also a glimpse into the potential rematch that boxing fans have been eagerly awaiting. Recently, Canelo Alvarez made headlines by expressing his interest in a rematch against Bivol, who handed him a significant defeat in their first encounter. Let's unpack this thrilling story, the implications for both fighters, and what it all means for the future of the light heavyweight division. In the world of boxing, rematches often carry as much intrigue as the original fights, sometimes even more. Recently, Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican superstar who has fought in multiple weight classes, voiced his desire for a rematch against the undefeated Dimitri Bivol. The backdrop to this renewed interest is significant. Canelo suffered a decisive loss to Bivol in their previous fight, a defeat that clearly still stings for the champion. In a recent interview, Canelo hinted at a potential rematch, stating, if Bivol moves up to 175, I will fight him. This remark comes after Canelo has continued to perform at an elite level, but the shadow of his defeat to Bivol seems to loom large. While he has had success in various divisions, the lingering memory of that loss is a source of motivation for the champion. Now, Canelo is on a quest for redemption, aiming to reclaim his stature by stepping back into the ring with the undefeated Russian champion. Canelo's challenge has sent shockwaves through the boxing world, with fans speculating whether Bivol will accept this call, especially given his current focus on another formidable opponent, Artur Betterbeev. This isn't the first time Canelo has expressed interest in a rematch with Bivol, he has previously mentioned that Bivol was on his mind and that he was eager to avenge the loss. Recently, Canelo made headlines again when he openly chose Bivol over Better Beef, signaling his preference for a rematch with the Russian champion. Canelo clarified his stance, saying, Bivol is one of the guys I have my rematch with now. His comments highlight the unfinished business he feels towards Bivol. However, there are many challenges ahead especially with the looming fight against Betterbeef, who holds multiple belts and is a dominant force in the division. After Canelo's defeat to Bivol, the possibility of a rematch has kept fans on the edge of their seats. Known for his resilience and ability to navigate across weight classes, Canelo is now determined to reclaim his pride by challenging Bivol again. His journey is not just about proving himself, it's about solidifying his legacy in boxing. While the idea of a rematch has generated excitement, it's not the only story in the light heavyweight division. Bivol is gearing up for his fight against Betterbeef, a clash that could unify the division and solidify both fighters' places in boxing history. Trainer Robert Garcia has also weighed in on the highly anticipated bout offering his expert analysis. He acknowledged the caliber of both fighters and admitted that predicting a winner is a challenging task. Garcia stated, It's hard to choose a clear winner, but I believe Bivol might have the edge by decision. Known for his cautious and precise approach, Bivol's style may prevent Better B from breaking through his defense. However, Garcia is also mindful of Better B's power especially given his perfect knockout record. He continued, BB's power is absolutely devastating, but Bibble's movement and skill are something extraordinary. Both fighters have reached the pinnacle of their sport, yet their paths have diverged. Bibble boasts 23 victories, with 12 by knockout, demonstrating his adaptability against various opponents, including notable wins over Canelo Alvarez and Gilberto Ramirez. On the other hand, Better Beave remains an unstoppable force, with 20 wins, all by knockout. His relentless style presents a unique challenge to Bivol's technical precision. David Benavidez, a former sparring partner, shared his insights on the matchup, suggesting that Bivol's calculated style could lead him to victory. He remarked, 
Better Beave is a beast, but Bivol's patience and ability to read his opponents may give him the upper hand. Benavidez believes Bivol could exploit Better Beave's vulnerabilities, despite the latter's knockout power being a constant threat. Benavidez elaborated further on their contrasting styles, saying, They're both extremely talented fighters, but they are two different types of fighters. He emphasized that Bivol relies on movement and solid technical ability, while Better Beave's style focuses on brute strength and relentless pressure. Better Beave is like a train, charging forward and absorbing punches to deliver his own powerful blows, he added. Interestingly, Benavidez pointed out that Better Beave has shown vulnerability in past fights. He specifically mentioned how Better Beave was hurt by fighters like Alexander, which raises the question, can Bivol capitalize on this? Benavidez suggested that Bivol's punches might actually carry more power than those of fighters who previously hurt Better Beave, potentially giving him the edge in significant exchanges. Despite favoring Bivol, Benavidez acknowledged that his success in the fight would heavily rely on his ability to maintain a smart game plan. If Bivol stays on his feet the whole night, uses his jab, and stands his ground during exchanges, he has a really good chance of winning, he noted, emphasizing that discipline and avoiding better Beav's power could be crucial for Bivol. The anticipation surrounding this matchup is palpable, with both fighters eager to make a statement. Roy Jones Jr., a boxing legend, also favors Bivol, citing Better Beave's age as a potential factor. He remarked, Bivol has never been knocked down while Better Beave has. This could be the difference. Jones admires Better Beave's strength, but sees Bivol's youth and precision as potential deciding factors. Roy further acknowledged Better Beave's exceptional strength, labeling him one of the top punchers in the light heavyweight division. However, he cautioned that Bivol could face significant challenges if Better Beave is allowed too much freedom in the ring. Bivol has the better opportunity going in because he's more of a boxer who can also punch, but Better Beave is one of the best punchers that this world has ever seen for his weight class, Jones added. While analysts praise Bivol's technique, Better Beave's knockout power remains a concern. Callum Johnson, who faced Better Beave in the ring, vividly recalls the strength he encountered. He stated, I was pushing him back, and I felt like I could see him weakening. But he just led me into that trap and got me. The man is unbelievable. He's pound for pound for a reason. Johnson further noted that Better Beave's power is unforgettable and cautioned Bivol that Better Beave's ability to catch opponents off guard could be decisive. Teddy Atlas, another well-respected voice in boxing, views the upcoming fight as a classic test of power versus finesse. He stated, Better Beave is like a combination of a train and John Wick. He not only imposes his physicality and skills on you, he imposes his will. Atlas emphasized that Bivol's skill set should not be underestimated, comparing Bivol's boxing IQ and footwork to that of past greats. Despite acknowledging Better Beave's dangerous punch, Atlas suggested that Bivol's technique could tip the scales in his favor. Joe Rogan, known for his insightful commentary, praised Better Beave's rise in the sport, highlighting his relentless determination. Rogan noted, Every punch that he throws is dangerous, 